just concluded their historic 30 day subathon and I think that this was one of the most successful subathons of all time. But what exactly made this subathon work out so well for each of the members? And what exactly made this the most successful subathon of all time? Well, I'm pretty sure that's what you're here to figure out. So if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button on GAP. And while you're at it, on GAP. The very first link down below in my description to join my Discord server and become an official member of the community. Well, he said, that being said, let's on everything. This clan had the most successful subathon of all time. Now, if you're watching this video and for some reason you do not know what a subathon is, it's basically when a streamer starts a stream and they have a timer on the screen and every time someone subscribes to their channel they have to add time to this timer and they usually have to stream all the way up until this timer either hits zero or they reach this set date that was already announced and i know we've all seen a lot of great subathons before in the past such as kasa nat who literally broke the subscriber record during his subathon or either subathons with other streamers such as ludwig or even bruce drop them all these were all very good subathons and they were each successful in their own way of course and I don't mean to take anything away from anyone with this video But the whole point I'm going to be trying to make in this video Is that we've never seen anything like what FaZe Clan has just done They have completely innovated subathons in a way that it was never done before Usually when you hear of a streamer doing a subathon Typically they're all at their desktop most of the time Playing games or watching videos Things like that that just pass by time But that will all change when Kasanat did his subathon And we all know how that went He literally had 30 days of doing a different type of content FaZe Clan would basically build onto this idea of doing 30 days of nothing but pure content but instead of seeing one person do it on one channel they did it with all six members across which is pretty fire i'm not gonna lie that's something we've yeah. really never seen before for a full 30 days we got to see six different streamers do their own subathons while being all in the same house and doing completely different forms of content and of course with six different streamers all being in one house of course they will all end up on each other's streams at random time but most times you typically had two different POVs of what was actually going on in the stream and basically every day for the full 30 days the six would even get together to do a group content segment where all six of them would do a form of content together and I think most of these ideas that they had was bangers we seen them do things like our role among us last to leave the white room love island where one member of phase literally took every girl there and they even had their own phase WWE matches and these are the types of innovative ideas that I'm talking about not only was this the first ever group subathon that we've ever seen on twitch say hi. this was the first time that say I like and subscribe six people all have a successful say like and subscribe at the same time and if you think i'm just say like and subscribe phase clan which i might be just a little bit the numbers and the statistics here. back all of these claims up phase just pulled off a subathon where all six members hit career highs and sub counts which is a success in its own right, but some of the numbers that they saw would actually be over the top. Members like Jason and Ween would hit over 80,000 subscribers and become the most subscribed Asian streamer of all time. Hey, well, even members like FaZe Adapt would total over 25,000 subscribers when he literally crazy. started the subathon with just 600 subs. And I think Adapt having this level of growth that he's had over the subathon was really amazing to see because as we all know, FaZe Clan was in the deepest pits of hell for the longest time. And this led to some of the members becoming extremely inconsistent consistent with content such as members like adapt who disappeared for two years even he was able to have this insane comeback within just 30 days of streaming and then there's also members like Lacey who literally started streaming less than two years ago and even he managed to hit a all-time high in subscribers with over 44,000. but that's not all wait why was he changed wait Suzuki, who i probably watched the most throughout this entire subathon he managed to accumulate over 22,000 subscribers during the course of this subathon and i think this was a very great 30 days for silky because no one even thought that he was going to do the 30 days i literally seen people talking about the overs and unders of his streaming <laughs> it was a prospect's entry but nonetheless silky did end up completing the full 30 days of this subathon and managed to hit a career high in subscriber count while doing so and if you're a member of sog or a supporter of silky you know that he's had a lot of consistency issues in the past so the fact that he managed to push out these 30 days even though he did go to clips a lot is still very impressive in his own right and that really just shows what can happen to someone's career as long as they stay consistent and that doesn't just go for silky or the rest of phase clan it goes for anyone in any aspect factual bro but before we get motivational we still have two more phase members to discuss and one of those members are the clip himself stable ronaldo who managed to get over 55,000 subscribers during the course of this subathon which is also a career high in subscribers for him as well and i think this was also a very successful 30 days for ron because as some of you may already know ron was already one of the biggest 
biggest streamers on Twitch a few years ago. As a literal teenager just sitting in his room playing Fortnite, but as time progressed, play Fortnite started dying down. Play Brock Fortnite. ended up hitting a major decline in his career where he had some of the lowest numbers that he's ever seen before in his streaming career. And there was even a point in 2023 where Stable mm -hmm. Ronaldo mm -hmm. had less than mm -hmm. 1,000 subscribers on Twitch, which led to streamers like Ninja saying that he fell off and he was irrelevant and things like that. That's which tough. I don't want to get too deep into because I Who's Ninja? An entire video on Stable Ronaldo. But just a year later after No way my cam just died. Area, Stable Ronaldo managed to hit his Hold on, time out. Camera's dead. Camera's dead. For no reason, no reason at all. I'm about to say, boy, you better come back on. Oh, we gonna have we gonna have some problem, mate. We got some problem. Alright, back to it. His career highest subscribers with over fifty five thousand. So that must feel absolutely incredible. The beach, I ain't gonna lie. I would have never known. Last but definitely not least, we have to talk about the golden boy himself, Black Boy Max. Now prior to this, <laughs> you're a dickhead, bro. <laughs> As we all know, Max ended up growing mm, massively mm, throughout mm, the one hundred mm. days of streaming that he did directly after joining Phase Clan, and even after completing a full one hundred. A hundred days. days? Wouldn't slow Black Boy Max down at all. A like hundred days of streaming? As well. this right into a thir another 30 days? Well. Damn, bro. 130 days of streaming? Have over 74,000 subscribers. Just with his consistency alone over the past few years, I'm not sure that there's anyone that really deserves this more than him. I don't think there's many streamers in the world who's going to stream for 100 days in a row doing different forms of content and then manage to turn around just a few weeks later and stream for 30 days straight 24-7. But Max has his sights set out on one day being the biggest streamer in the world and winning the Streamer of the Year award. And he's definitely putting in the work that it's going to take to get to those spots. And this subathon definitely helped him expand his community and hit numbers that I'm sure that he thought was unimaginable back in 2021 one where he only had nine twitch followers all in all this subathon would be a total success for not only these individual members but for the entire brand of phase clan as a whole because they managed to have four of the six streamers hit the top 10 most subscribed streamers list on that's twitch, crazy as well as all six members being ranked within the top 20 and before any of you try to be in the comments diminishing their success saying oh that's only the english streamers that's not all of twitch bro just shut up bro even if we did do all languages and rank them with literally every other twitch streamer in the world they still have two of the six members within the top 10 while all six members still remaining within the top 25 in the world so like i said definitely a win for the entire phase organization because big dubbing or not phase was probably at the lowest point it's ever been and now within the past 30 days they managed to accumulate over 280,000 subscribers i'm gonna be honest bro before i never even watched a phase like that you know what i'm saying bro i, li I literally have not maybe fate was phase Jar was jarvis in the phase clan if it was Phase Jarvis, I, I think I, I might have watched Phase Jarvis back in the, back in the day when Fortnite was like like first blowing up before before he got banned and all that. <clears throat> After that, I never watched I never watched Phase Clan, bro. But yo, this summertime, bro. I was I was tuned in. I'm not gonna lie. I was streaming a little bit. Um, but after I I, I stopped streaming, broski, I was locked in, bro. And then and then it ended. Ain't gonna lie, bro. I was like, whoa, bro. These these the one two and is it? Three? I don't even these these mo max. <laughs> Max, Lacey, Ronaldo, <laughs> and Jason, bro. Yo, yo, hilarious, hilarious, bro. Yo, hilarious. As a whole, which according they to the make movie, they is, is the clips. I ain't gonna lie. Official Phase Clan Twitter account. As a they game, is the clips. Managed to earn over 1.5 million dollars in subscriptions, and I am recording this video on the 28th of September. Damn. They do have two days left of the subathon. Well, really, like a day Damn. and a half. And all of the numbers that I use in this video is either where they currently are or where they're trending up to be. So it may be a little inaccurate because I do expect all of them to keep going up and up even more within these last two days, and just add on to what's already been a completely historic run and with all of that being said that's why i think phase clan has had the most successful subathon but that's just my personal opinion you guys know that the only opinion that i care about is y'all's opinion so let me know what you guys think down below in the comments who do you think F -f 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 -facts. Successful subathon? who did you facts the little video ain't gonna lie yeah they they definitely had a, a crazy subathon bro that that was insane bro I've never seen something like that and uh, you know what I'm saying, but that's that's what it is, bro. It's about like just just 
trying to get to the next level, bro. Just trying to get to the next level. That's that's literally what they did, bro. You know what I'm saying? Kai pushed it, pushed it a little bit, you know what I'm saying? And then Face just pushed it more, you know what I'm saying? And it's just gonna keep getting put getting pushed and pushed. You know what I'm saying? So boom. Good morning, you know what I'm saying? Uh the below video, um, like and subscribe, you know what I'm saying? Let me know what you think in the in the comments, like uh old dude said, and, and I'll be back in the next video type.